Hamilton here and uh, I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to integrate VSTs within the grid in Bitwig um, because I posted a video the other day and I kind of finally worked out how to do it and um, I've had a lot of people asking so I thought I'd explain the process a little bit better so um, this is the base that I posted up and uh, I've managed to get these couple of VSTs in here um, so this is the sound so I've got like quite a few different elements so I've got a sub here and then I've got these various uh, mid-range bits there's a sub Mute that. Sub. The left and the right are the same wave table. Analogy sort of sound. They're sort of scrapey. They all, all come together. But I, I wanted a bit of reverb, but on those bits, just not on, not on the actual sub itself. So I wanted that totally clear. So I added a reverb in a kind of uh, send format rather than an insert so to speak and a distortion as well just to kind of layer it up a bit so that's the reverb on its own that just sort of adds a little bit of colour you can see it gets very dry without that so um, it's a bit of a weird way you have to do it I kind of worked it out from reading between the lines on a few forums um, it would be really nice if uh, Bitwig could make this process a bit simpler because I really feel that it, it gives the grid a massive advantage over any other synth because you could use whatever uh, VST plugins within uh, the grid itself and incorporate that as part of the synthesis which is just like mind-blowing really uh, so yeah it's a, this is how you do it it's uh, a little bit of a convoluted process but um i'll try and explain it the best i can so here here we've got a sound very simple it's just a just a sub and a like a higher level thing so 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 we wanted just to put a vst on on this but this bot higher one what we have to do is effectively make make a kind of the exit point of the grid so we do that by now this is just to, just to say this is how I've worked out to do it. There may be a better way of doing it or or not, but um, this is the, this is the only way I've found it works at the moment. The, using a stereo split, you can take that signal there and and put it in there. So you've effectively created a, a send, and then you need to add these two uh, modulator outs. So I'm just going to copy that one. I'm going to put the left to that one and the right to that one. What that does is it, it kind of creates a, a send. So we can send that signal there to the VST. So say we wanted to put a reverb on there. Let's let's add a, a Valhalla reverb, one of my favourite reverbs. So at the moment, that's just uh, like... Uh, a, an insert after the synth but we want it actually within the synth so we need to drag it into this note effects bit so now if I play you can't hear it anymore don't worry about that for the minute um, so then what you need to do is I've already created a preset you can do the same for, for this but um, I, I have no idea why but uh, just need to you need to get a layer let me find that and drop it in there it's just my default thing don't worry about that and then you need to add two dc offsets that's kind of like your left and left and right so to speak and then what you need to do is modulate this dc offset with the left and then this dc offset with the, the right so click on that drag that up that's that one done. Click on that, drag that one up. That's that one done. Now, that basically that sends the signal. 
that's now sending it to the reverb and you can see the tail, tail of the reverb there but we still can't hear it <clears throat> so what we need to do now is get that signal back into the grid so we do that by adding audio sidechain and we go down and find the vintage verb out now what I tend to do actually is I add a, a tool plug in after this just because I can take the signal from the tool instead now what that means is I can swap that plug in I can change it to a different reverb or whatever without having to rewire it if, if I re if I wired it in from the Valhalla reverb here um, every time I change that plugin I'd have to change it so I'll just do it from the tool and then that way I can change that plugin if I need to um, then you have to have an envelope afterwards it's again kind of a bit weird in my opinion but it's just how it is I'll, I'll put that all the way up to full release the normal thing and then you can take that output and whack it into your mixer so now fingers crossed we should have the sound with this reverb on yeah we do good so we've just got the that's the full wet of the reverb there right and blend it in there so that's uh that's a way of doing an insert let's say for example we wanted to do instead of doing an insert we just want to do a send uh, sorry what am I talking about instead of doing a send uh, we just want to do an insert so we, we, we want that whole signal going through that that plugin or set of plugins so let's just get rid of the directs out there so now that's it's going through full wet but obviously we, we wouldn't want that with a reverb so like, maybe try something like a distortion so yeah now that would be an insert so yeah what I, what I, what would be really nice is if uh, the guys at bitwig and they probably will i'm sure they will because they're, they're very clever um come up with some sort of better solution for, for this because i think this really does it really does open up the grid just to some insane possibilities but it is a bit of a pain in the ass honestly to do it like this so yeah it'd be nice if we could have some sort of input out device which kind of takes care of all this in one package that we can slot vsts in or whatever plugins and i think that would make the grid pretty much unstoppable but uh hope that's cleared everything up and uh good luck with your uh, bitwig and gridding in the future i'll see you later